Welcome to In My Mailbox number, I'm not really sure. Um, I am about two weeks late in this, but we're gonna get caught up. It shouldn't take very long anyway. You can see Poppy. She is the Siberian kitten in the background here. And if you hear trilling or anything, that's probably Caesar, the uh, Siberian jester in the house. We'll start off with the books that I bought. And this is one I'm really excited about reading. It's by Anne Elizabeth, Pulse of Power. It is a paranormal graphic novel, and I can't remember whose blog I saw this on, but she did an interview and it looked very interesting to me. So I really wanted to give it a shot and I'm really excited about the graphics that are in here as well. So we'll be looking forward to that. I finally broke down and bought Incarceron by Katherine Fisher. Of course, everyone knows this is being made into a book with um, Taylor Lautner, I believe, who's going to be the um, male main character, portrays the male main character in this book, but I've heard wonderful reviews about this, and so I finally pick, just picked it up at the uh, bookstore. Okay, I did a very stupid thing. Well, depends on who the authors might not think it's very stupid, but somehow I have purchased two copies of A Touch Mortal and two copies of City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. A Touch Mortal is from Leah Clifford. It is a paranormal, young adult paranormal romance. I've been wanting to read this for a while and I had pre-ordered it before its release in February, but I also pre-ordered it at the same time as City of Fallen Angels. And with Barnes and Noble, they don't, they will wait and ship things out at the same time. And I had forgotten that I did that. And so I ordered um, a touch mortal again somewhere but anyway I have two two books of this but um, Missy with Missy Reviews is going to be getting a my second copy of a touch mortal very soon in the mail so I have that and then I have finished reading City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare I'll more than likely do the second copy that I have of this as a giveaway just because there's so many people that uh, are interested in reading this book so um, look for that. As far as for review, I received in the mail Under the Green Hill by Laura Sullivan. This is a young adult fantasy book as well. I don't remember much about it, uh, but look, look for me reading this um, soon and for a review on that. And then as far as for the Kindle, I have, this week I received Six Moon Summer by Sarah Reen, R-E-I-N-E. -E. It's a young adult fantasy with wolves in it. It seems to have, it does have a romance in it as well, like all good fantasy books should. But um, it seems to have a little bit of a different take, not uh, some, I, I don't, from the description, I don't think that she has an all or nothing. I don't think it's one of those that she can morph from human to wolf. I could be wrong, but it's something about she has to, to make a decision of uh, turning into a wolf or saving her life. So we'll see how that goes. This is an adult book. It's called Slow Burn, Slow Burn by E.B. Walters. It's an adult paranormal romance. And from the description, I'm actually I'm very excited to read this one. So I really want to see where that where that will lead. And I also have her Perfect Revenge by Anna is that Mara Mara M A R A. It's a contemporary romance with humor. And I um, the only contemporary romance with quality humor that I've read so far is um, oh the Redhead Revealed uh, the Redhead ser series. Why can I not remember her name? She's going to kill me. It's an omnific publishing book, the very first omnific book I ever read. Oh my God, anyway, I can't remember her name. She's gonna kill me. Uh, but uh, anyway, The Redhead Revealed, she, wonderful. It has, it's sexy, it's romantic, it's contemporary, and it's very, very funny. So if you haven't read those, read those. But ever since then, I've been trying to find another a romance book that actually does have humor in it. And so whenever I read the description about her perfect revenge, the humor contemporary romance is what um, grabbed me, wanted me to read that. That's all that I have for in my mailbox this week and look for the reviews. Have a great reading week.